each week for the next four or so weeks, I'm going to bring some of the uh, new Christmas themes for 2023 to you and show you a little preview of some of the stock that will be arriving as part of those themes. So let's get to it with our first four themes for 2023. Um, first theme is one that we carry over from last year, the Candyland theme. So Candyland was really popular last year. I had so much fun with it. It's soft, it's elegant, but obviously it's got whimsy, great for kids, and just brings the fun of Christmas. So let's just have a little reminder first of the uh, tree that we did last year. So you can see it has the pastel tones in it with white, as well as uh, novelty pieces like the ice creams and the um, cake pieces uh, in there. Lots of picks and florals to finish it off and uh, a little bit of ribbon and rope to add extra dimension to it. So when we look at uh, Candyland for this year, colours are the same. A little bit more um, mint is available, which is great. Um, we've also uh, filled in a few of the, the lines from last year. So, for example, the uh, candy ornaments that we carried last year, we didn't have uh, some of the lollipops and the, um, and the candies in the pink and white, so we've got that. This is a new addition up here so this is a great sort of a, almost a slightly light turquoise blue with a touch of gold on it which would be really lovely adding that little bit of gold into the tree a bit of novelty with the donut pieces and then the um, sprinkle uh, ornament here which will be a great filler ball um, for, for the tree and of course uh, to go with this we've got lots and lots of picks so a smaller size in the um, in the lollipops here, so they're great for tabletop as well as a tray. Then terrific range of the uh, uh, poinsettias, so the sort of sprinkle style here. This is a new uh, new one we've got had made for us, which is sort of a um, iridescent uh, see-through fabric with a little bit of a sequin trim, which will be really gorgeous. And then these felt style uh, flowers, we've got a number of those in pink, blue, um, white coming. And uh, the variations on it with, with the trim in the middle and without the trim, but they all kind of work together. And then a couple of leaves, which are, again, fabulous to use for your tabletop as well as in the tree, giving you lots of flexibility work, work those pieces together. And a piece that I really love is this um, twist style, which, again, when you're adding these sort of dimensional pieces like this into the tree, it really adds a, an extra element and um uh, Finishes off the fun and and the style of your tree. With the tabletop pieces for the Candyland this year, there's a bit more of a vintage vibe to them. So you can see with these pieces, definitely uh, inspired by the, the vintage vibe with the feather tree here. This is a taller sort of 80 centimetre tree, which is stunning. Uh, probably this one, I think around 30 and then this one uh, says happy holidays, but for Australia, we will have Merry Christmas on that but you will definitely see with Candyland this pop of vintage inspiration to work with it and uh, that also is something we saw in the signs last year and we're seeing in some of the new signs for this year. A couple of other tabletop pieces this is actually a really large like he's actually two meters tall so he's a, a full figurine uh, that's available he's been around for a couple of years but continues to link in with the theme. This is the Santa that has, again, he was the sort of the start of the Candyland theme. Um, still one of my favourite uh, pieces, which is why we brought him back this year. Um, a gorgeous addition. And uh, this one's a new, um, this one's a new piece, the um, vintage vibe, clearly in here, cookie, cookie um, jar. And just to give you an idea with the uh, ribbons and signs, we are going trying to get our hands on a bit more of this lavender colour. We've got the lavender, the purp light purples, lilacs coming in this year. So we've got a couple of ribbons in that and some signs. This is one that was a super favourite last year for the Candyland. He'll be back again with the Mrs Gingerbread as well, uh, the elf and uh, cute Candyland sign there with some ribbon. Uh, these are just a touch of the, the sorts of pieces that are coming in this year, but gives you an idea of how the themes will work together. 
So now to something quite different, of course, your classic. So we're calling it classic carols this year. Um, this one has got uh, traditional red and green, but what I wanted to start with was to show you how you can use red and green to start with and how you can add a pop of another color to change the look. So looking at what we did last year, we have in this tree here, I'll we'll just play this as I speak, We've got the red and green as the strong colours, but what we've added in this tree is a touch of this uh, beautiful white tartan with the red and white and this ornament here with the white base. So this sort of creates a slightly softer finish to the tree. And you could, you know, we've used even quantities of red and green in this with the pop of the, the tartan ribbons, but you could also have more red with just a pop of green. So you can very easily change the look without having to change an entire theme. So here's an example of the same base colours, the red and the green, but in this case we've added a little bit of blue and we've added the gold to it. So you've got a great combination there showing how you could uh, just mix it up with those two changes. Um, I think the next one, yeah, so this is also, this is the same as what I just showed you but without the blue in it. So a uh, great option. The reason we added the blue, I should have said one the last time, is quite often the nutcrackers will have a touch of blue. So we did want to show the combination with the blue in there as well. And then a third way you can look at uh, the red and green is to simply add a sort of harlequin black and white pop to it as well. So you can change it up. So here's the original where we've got the sort of tartan finish. And in this tree, we've added a little bit more of that tartan you could also have done this adding the black and white to uh, the red green and gold version of this trait so just because you go classic doesn't mean you can't change the look of your tree each year if you want to without having to replace all the pieces but maybe looking for one or two elements to change the tree topper as an example and add one you know sort of change to the tree to freshen the look Okay, so to look at some of the new ornaments that are coming in this year, so obviously working with the colours, we've got great uh, table, oh, sorry, tree skirts coming in. Uh, we've got the ornaments that we've made in the strong gold. We always carry champagne gold. That'll be one of, one of our later themes as well, but kind of more of the yellow tone here. And then a little bit of jewel. You know, it's nice to have a little pop of, um, you know, the beading and the jeweling on pieces. So we've got that with these. And even this one's got a little bit of the gold jeweling on the top of the acorn there. Uh, new for us this year are the large jewels. So we'll have them in gold, red, uh, champagne, green, purple. We have got other colors coming as well to work with other themes and then um, the silver tone. So these are 10 centimeter uh, diameter. Um, these are 15 centimetre and then we also have the much larger ones that are 20 centimetres. Can't wait for these to come in so we can really work them through the trees and the ornaments. I saw them in the States last year. I couldn't get our hands on them then but uh, saw some of the beautiful uh, displays created by some of our lovely designers and suppliers over there and they looked amazing. Another addition for the tree, oh, my mouse isn't working, Just give me a second to get that, there we go. Um, is mirror balls. So we've got mirror balls coming again in a lot of colours. These are the colours that would work well with our classic. So we've got clearly gold, blue, green, red and black. We've got these in two sizes, 10 and 12 centimetre. But the mirror ball, again, you've got lights on your tree. So anything that's reflective on your tree looks so good when you have the lights as the background that um, really shine them up. So uh, whether you use them on the outside of your tree or you use these even pushed into the tree a little bit more just to get that reflection, I think they're going to look fantastic. So I'm um, looking forward to playing with them. Uh, these are some of the new picks, so great tartan choices there. This is one uh, that we're getting made exclusively for us. So if you love the idea of classic but you want just that touch of black and white, this is another way to do that with the uh, black and white mixed in there, um, which I think is really lovely. This black and white piece we've had in the past, but back again this year, which is great because, again, it's a great way of adding that harlequin feel to the traditional colours. And, of course, again, we we're looking for these bright golds to go with the um, uh, red and green to give those lovely, strong, classic colours. Uh, tabletop. 
these designs, you know, you'll often see similar molds that will come out year upon year, but they change the colors on them. So last year we had something similar to this in uh, sort of bright colors in the ball. So here's a beautiful addition this year with more of the traditional tones you can see working around there. Obviously, as we've called it classic carol, we've got some carolers there. And then we've got uh, a couple of really great, uh, very large, uh, these pieces are like a meter long. So they're designed to put a tree in, or you could even put uh, like a giant bunch of poinsettias or something uh, of that nature, or even a small plant um, in it uh, as a, a floor piece, a, a really special, something special you could have at your entrance or near your Christmas tree. Uh, that piece is also coming in a gold with just the uh, wreath in color, which I actually think is quite a stunning uh, style, just the simplicity of that. Uh, very elegant with that lovely green brightness around the wreath. And finally, a lovely sign, uh, which I think is one of the most beautiful signs we've had, 12 Days of Christmas coming in this year. So um, with the tartan trim, but also using a little bit of the soft blues, soft greens. So it gives you lots of flexibility on how you want to add that to your wreath or um, or teardrop, or if you want to use it as part of your tree topper in, in the tray itself. So that's our classic carol theme, theme two. Uh, so now to work our way through to our third theme for today, Midnight Allure. This is a truly elegant theme, um, beautiful deep tones of teal and blue and emerald green and then uh, strong gold to really lift it and give it lots of pop of colour. Uh, this is a theme I have loved for many years. We've played with it in the past, but we're actually getting a lot of these balls made ourselves uh, so that we have them available to go with this theme. Um, so I know people on YouTube are from overseas as well. Um, some of these packs in particular we will have available to ship overseas because they are products that we have made exclusively. So uh, some of the gorgeous peacocky te and teal themes here love the variation in textures as well so you've got the smooth you've got um, you, the luster here and of course beading on this style so um, the midnight lure is one that we have uh, as i said enjoyed using before uh, in different variations we had just a very plain ball made in the past this time we wanted to get some beautiful um, more feature ornaments created for that and working that, uh, those gorgeous ornaments together with our picks. So the florals that we would be working with are the lovely um, midnight blue sort of tone here or emerald green through to your sort of tealy colours in the middle here or and, uh, of course, the addition once again of this bright gold to go with it. And I just want to share one other idea with this because another colour that you'll see us pop in this, this year and um, we've, we've created a number of ornaments in these colours because we love them and they're very hard to get is the raspberry. So you could also work, work these colours and work the raspberry which would make it an, an, an absolutely stunning display and uh, a way of adding a little bit of brightness, a bit more brightness to it if you wanted to. Um, and the final piece for this display is a lovely sign. Very hard to find signs in these colours. Uh, beautiful nativity sign, O Holy Night, uh, with the midnight blue back in the gold. So great if you wanted a tree topper or um, as part of your wreath for the front door. And finally, we've got our fourth theme for today, a natural Noel. So always there's been natural elements, but I feel this year there's a little bit more of the natural coming through, uh, giving you lots of different options for pulling together the naturals. You can still use other colours. So let's look at the ornaments here. I'll show you what I mean. So, you know, we've got these ornaments that we're having made for us to give us sort of nice strength in these natural tones. But also, we're also having made in these sort of smoky blue tones and in the light pewter because you could work either sort of the darker tones with the copper and mocha and um, chocolate brown, or you can work these sort of lighter tones into your blues and your pewters, which would also work with your elements like your um, uh, owl or other natural elements that you want to add in a tin and so forth. Uh, this also is a stunning ornament that's coming this year. 
So it's got the um, the light green and the, the smoky blue with a little bit of champagne gold, which will work really well with these if you wanted to sort of create a slightly more formal look to the styling. Uh, so the picks to go with this, um, you know, if, again, if you want to add a little bit more form formality to it, you could go with something that's got a little bit of uh, gold on there, so the pewter, or you could go just a natural plain pewter. The, anything in these frosts in these natural finish will work really well with the uh, the theme. So this is also like a very light champagne, so you could work any of those in. And your picks, having some great picks uh, so these ones, the flocking on them or ball picks in there so that you can get lots of sort of light, uh, lots of that um, white pop in it. And I just love this um, ribbon, natural element, because it will give so much texture. You could layer it with another color if you wanted to or use it alone, which is um, it just gives it so much flexibility. Um, and just a couple of the tabletop pieces that can go with this uh, theme so again always terrific if you can get your hands on some lovely pieces like these sort of open lanterns because they become a visual sort of a focal point for putting a display in the middle which makes decorating so easy because you, you can put quite a simple display in there but you'll end up with a real wow factor because you've got the framing of those uh, lanterns I thought these, this is a Raz piece, I thought this was absolutely beautiful. Just simple, elegant, uh, tabletop piece that uh, could sit on a mantle, sit on the back of a uh, sofa table, anything like that. Really, really pretty. Um, these cute little owls are a lovely addition tabletop, so a bit more of the natural rather than the white in the owl there, really sweet. And, of course, tin with your uh, natural elements there will work really well. So that's our first four themes for 2023. Each week we will share these with you so you can um, use them for inspiration. We will be sharing our new products. If you're interested in purchasing products from us, it's mychristmas.com.au. We'll be sharing them in July as a pre-order option and then they will start arriving, you know, sort of August, September. So we'll be able to share the actual pieces with you. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Cheers.